So we're going to go ahead and start, and we've got a model here today, Marissa. The first picture I take is what I call a full face photograph. What we want is a neutral background, either white, blue, gray. Today we're going to actually use a white background. The first photo I like to take is a full face photo. Again, this gives not only us an opportunity to have a nice before and after, again, for any marketing purposes we may use it for, but also it gives the, the opportunity for your ceramics or your laboratory to see what the patient looks like and see the relationship between the incisal edge and the eyes and the midline and the long axis of the face. So we would like a neutral background. The thing I don't want is, and I see it all the time, the patient full face in the chair where you got the bag in the background and all this other nonsense. So um, I prefer either a light blue or a white background. Again, so I can put it on my, my internet site if I need to and it'll kind of match everything else. It really depends on what you're going to be using this for. But you really can't go wrong with either a light blue or white. So here's Marissa. This is a white background. I'm going to have her step forward a little bit. We'll reduce the shadows. I'm still using my ring flash. I'm going to change the f-stop. As you'll see in a moment, we're going to use f-stop 32 for all our photos. That's a very small opening in the lens, which gives us great depth of field. The problem is, is the fact that if I'm further away now from the patient, from the object, there won't be enough light. So I like to set it at about 9. It'll give me a depth of field that I'll have her nose in focus as well as her ears. It won't be underexposed, and it'll give us a nice, a nice view. So what I'm looking for here is I'm basically focusing on the mid-cheek. I just want a full face. Big smile, Marissa. Oh, perfect. Good, good. Now, if you're making changes in profile, this is a great time to do a profile shot. So go ahead and look straight down the hallway. Same setting. I'm doing what I call a chin to forehead shot. Big smile. Great. So now let's go ahead and do the interaural photography.